Tosca by Puccini. In here is a role which every baritone dreams of doing. I can listen to these three opening chords and get an image of what I might be as Scarpia. He needs to have authority, he needs to have control, he needs to have stage presence, and he needs to have a type of voice which is commanding, but in the Scarpia that I think I'm capable of doing, he has to be charming, he has to be manipulative, and he has to really want to have Tosca as his final love. I'm gonna take every moment that I can musically out of this score with the coaches, with the directors of music, with this wonderful production of Jonathan Kent, and gonna make it my Scarpia. But here he is, he enters with one of the most famous entrances in the baritone repertoire. One of the great things about Italian in singing terms is that it's got these wonderful long vowel lines, which you can color in the sort of the way you sing to make it sound very Italian, that you link it all together. You can even speak in English and sing in Italian. And lots of things on one pitch. That's a very strong indication by Puccini that there's lots to be got out of the text rather than the music. So there's a lot of Italian to learn, but uh, this is what I do. <laughs> Puccini is a wonderful dramatic writer and he knits everything musically together very, very well. And so for an actor, you have to know the music very, very intensively. Here we go. Bravo. I need or I want. What do I want? La cosa bramata perseguo, le mesazio, all these things which satisfy me. So this is giving me a wonderful musical language to get the depth and needs of Scarpia in all his lustfulness and his rage and his thirst. To get it really in my body and to get it into my thoughts and so eventually it becomes actually into my character is a process which takes, well, some people think it can take up to 100, 150 times of repetition to absorb it, not only in my mind, but also in my physical muscle memory. Sometimes the words actually form in my mouth before my mind remembers them. And you offer it to her. Mm -hmm. Then that's it. The book goes away. And then I enter the Royal Opera House rehearsal room. And that's almost where the work then begins. And that's when she realizes that Scarpia knows that she's acting. Oh, yeah. It's just one long series of big, big steps. But it's worth every minute, worth every minute.